Hey Matthias, Coach Andre here. I did a little stick handling circuit timed event tonight so that you could see how fast I can do it. And um, you can kind of get an idea of how fast you should be able to do it. So you might not be able to do it this fast, but if you practice in a couple of years, you should be able to do it just as fast as I can. So the way I do it is this is the short stick handling. You're just crossing a line as fast as you can and time yourself till you get to 100. So when I got to 100 here, what did I get? I got 26 seconds. So for that one, you're just crossing the line. The next one, we're going wider. So you're going about three tiles wide. I go line to line, making sure that I cross the line every time. You, you might not be able to do it this wide, so uh, you can see the lines are just outside my feet. So make them have a nice wide stance and practice reaching side to side. This will build up lots of strength and speed and control. Try to keep your head up, you're not looking directly at the ball. This is a great heads up exercise as well. And you can see I got to about 46 seconds. So I'm doing 100 as well. 100 wide. Okay, 47 seconds. Uh, the next one up is the figure eight. So this is the one that you were doing. I'm sure a lot of your friends do this one, or if you go to a camp, they'll make you do this one. The way you count it is like this. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every time you go through the middle, you go nice and fast, forwards around the cones, and then down through the middle. So for this one, we're not gonna do 100, we're only gonna do 50. So time yourself, get your sisters to help you out, get a little stopwatch or your iPad or phone and it's got a stopwatch on that and um, make sure that you get an accurate reading. I got, what is that, 38 seconds? Okay, you should be able to get somewhere around 50 seconds. That's most kids your age get around 50 seconds, so like one second per Figure eight. Okay, now the zigzags. Now this is a really important one to do properly. Look at my bottom hand position. See how it goes up and then down and then up and then down. So you're really practicing bottom hand position as you do this exercise. For these angle exercises, you, you pretty much have to look down at the ball. It's almost impossible to do uh, with your head up. So it's okay to look at the ball for the figure eights and the zigzags. Okay, what did I get here? I'm pretty good at that one. 46 seconds. Um, you'll probably be over a minute for that one. But don't worry about your time. Just do the best you can and you know the more you practice you're going to see yourself getting faster and faster and one day you'll be able to beat me. Okay, toe drags. Make sure you stop the ball before you toe drag it down to your feet. Stop it, drag it, stop it, drag it. So you count. One, two, three. Every time you go around those two pucks. And for toe drags, we're only going to do 20. So 20 toe drags, 30 seconds. Okay, what do we got next? We're moving on to the chips. So um, chips are very difficult, but let's just start with a ball, and then we'll move on to pucks later when you're good at this. But first, you have to get the, the coordination of soft hands. So just practice going over a stick 
Or you can make like a little obstacle like mine. Those are great to have. You can use them for pucks going underneath as well. And then I got 27 seconds and you're only doing 20. So 20 times over the stick. And now you got to make sure you do it your backhand too. So I, my forehand and backhand are pretty much identical. But I, I actually really enjoy doing this one. You practice going, doing a little toe drag down towards you, and it's really challenging with the ball bouncing. So really good for eye and coordination with the ball too. But eventually we're going to switch and do this with pucks. But get it with the ball first. And once you get the ball down to uh, a good time, you know, maybe uh, 50 or 40 seconds, then we'll switch over to pucks. Okay, buddy. Time to start practicing.